all the happy ninjas with 100% less depression. And that is Ninja Jajamuru, the great yokai battle. I have no idea what the yokai battle is, what that means or anything, but I just know there's ninjas here in this game and it's a lot of fun. And it really feels like a classic arcade Super Mario Brothers or Bubble Bobble, but it has like ninjas with ninja stars. Um, it's, the graphics are kind of like a compromise between classic Nintendo and Super Nintendo graphics, uh, pixel retro graphics, um, but it's stylish with like an early 1990s arcade feel to it. Um, and it works well. Uh, there's simple controls, uh, it's fun, and there's weird power-ups like you can ride a frog and the disc pro ball comes down, so it's pretty random. Um, so you jump up and down the platforms and you're hoping to rack up your score, so it's a classic arcade, um, you know, uh, incentives. And you try to get the best score by firing your shurikens at these plentiful enemies that come out of nowhere. Um, you just gotta be careful not to run into them. I think the game gives you a few lives. I didn't see a live counter. So, it's a super basic concept. It's extremely addictive though, and it's easy to pick up and play. So, like, people of all ages can pick this up and play with you. Um, the soundtrack really feels like a th throwback to like the happy, happy, like 80s. I know this game came from the 80s or 90s and there's been many versions of it in Japan, but like I don't think it's actually come over here before. So it's got that like happy style of the classic uh, video game soundtracks. Um, you can play this in solo and two player mode. I really feel like this game's heart is in the two player mode and uh, you don't get the full experience by just playing it on your own um, at home. Yeah, because I can see that being a lot more fun. Uh, playing with a buddy at home. Um, fortunately, you can like drop in and drop out, so you can beat a stage, then come back, play it again, and then progress later if you uh, are short on time as well. Uh, there's tons and tons of unlockable characters. I only saw the two basic ninjas, the red ninja and the blue ninja, and then there are, I think, like 30, I'm guessing, 30 like more shadow out characters so you you know there's a lot to unlock and then apparently there's alternate modes concept art design documents and then photographs of like past cartridges uh, from this game series history um, if you unlock love unlockables then this game seems to be your shrine uh, from what I've heard um, my biggest criticism of this game it's a lot of fun and it's addictive but like you really need that second player to, to maximize uh, the fun out with this game. Um, many people might be put off by the graphics. Not everyone appreciates the retro style, um, but that's really part of the game's style uh, and part of the charm. I mean, just like Bubble Bobble got the, the fancy treatment in the last one to three years, and like it looks great, but like part of the charm and appeal of Bubble Bobble was that sort of look, but in pixels rather than renders. Um, it only costs a measly $14.49 regular price. I paid $10.86. I feel like this fair considering the potential hours that this game will give you. Um, it feels like a solid 8 out of 10. Um, it's not perfect, but the presentation is quite nice. And uh, whenever a game is fun, then you can't really complain because those are the, the classics when uh, they appeal to a lot of people. So get your ninja on, keep on ninja. Bye.